Hi guys. Um, today I'm doing a, a video on my Heritage Rough Rider. Now I've had this gun for a little while now. Um, sorry, it's like focusing. So I've had this gun for a little while now. It's um, it's a, been a little questionable. I mean, it's a great gun, but me personally. I haven't really gotten to break it in a whole lot and then it just broke on me. Now, I'm going to talk about it today. It is unloaded. Now, y'all are going to see what's the problem with it. Look at this, watch. Any of y'all can figure out what this is, comment below. Uh, well, you know what? I'll just go ahead and talk about it. So, what happened was is this, is that my dad, bless his heart, Tried to take apart my Rough Rider here. Never disassembled a Colt before. Um, took it apart. First thing that happened, the trigger fell out. He took out this screw right here, which holds the trigger. And yeah, then in the process of trying to disassemble everything, he was unscrewing everything, told me, I got this, don't worry about this. And he ended up pulling on the cylinder hand and, and snapping the spring that was attached to it right off. Great gun, except for the fact that it's uh, that the cylinder hand came off. So, as I was saying, it is com completely empty. And yeah, so I removed the cylinder and everything now. Right here in the inside, I don't know, let's wait for it to focus the new camera. So this right here, the cylinder hand, I don't know if y'all can hear that. That's me tapping on it and it's hitting the back of the wall here. So, this gun cannot cycle the cylinder. Only way it will is if I lean it forward like this so that it can come out. But even then, watch this. The spring is gone completely. So, what's it called? Um, I actually called the manufacturers, Heritage Arms, and they were actually very generous and they, they're they sending me a free uh, new cylinder hand with the spring assembly. So I've already watched plenty of YouTube tutorials on how to disassemble it. I looked at the manual and the parts and everything. It's actually very simple to completely disassemble this uh, firearm here. Um, when I get the part, I will do a instructional video on how to disassemble this and uh, properly and reassemble it. And yes, I believe it or not, over the course, a little over a year, I have um, actually disassembled di different weapons, stuff like that, M16A2s, um, M6, um, M16A4, a uh, saw, a 240 Bravo, a 240 Charlie. Um, so I mean, I mean, I've kind of I got my hands uh, hands dirty with the uh, as far as it goes with assembling and reassembling weapons, try understanding how to fit a peg in a hole. You know what I mean? But um, what's called? Yeah, I'll do I'll do an instructional video on that, a tutorial, and hopefully I'll be able to take this thing out to the range. I don't trust that when I take this out to the range that the cylinder will stay in place whenever I fire. So I don't want any misfires or something bad to happen, you know what I mean? Because here's the biggest issue. Before, when I, before this issue happened, the cylinder used to be able to just to lock into place completely. So now, it completely moves because there, the, cylinder, uh, the cylinder hand is just barely holding onto the teeth and it goes back and forth. So I mean, it, it, there's a lot of um, a lot of wiggle room. So if I if I were to let this hammer ride forward like that, I'm afraid that it's 
it's not going to strike it properly, maybe damage the cylinder, or it may cause a misfire, or something might, bad might happen, or hell, even worse, the cylinder might not be aligned up with the barrel correctly, and it'll strike the barrel, and boom. But um, yeah, so I'm going to do that once I get this fixed. I also have my 22 Magnum cylinder. I have some Winchester um, 22 mag ammo. I'm going to take out to the range and um, we're gonna, I'm going to put about, try to put between 500 to 1,000 rounds through, through this gun on the first time I go to the range. Um, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, I'll be doing more videos um, the next couple of days. And um, hopefully you'll tune in. And please like and subscribe, and I'll put up more videos. All right, thank you for watching.